if they get fourth, so they so you're saying Man U would go down one spot because Man U's fourth. If Arsenal fumble the league, so Man City win the league, and Aston Villa get fourth, Unai Emery manager of the season. Unai definitely gets a very hard and aggressive nod in my book, as taking a okay. I mean, I have to look back. I can't even fucking remember where they started at in the fall, but they were bottom. They were easily bottom, right? Maybe mid, mid, mid to low bottom of the table. I'm gonna say 14th, but I really don't know. I'm gonna say 14th, but I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. So you said you give him a good nod. So who do you give it to then? Who do I if give? If Arsenal doesn't win, the you hardest, know who does win. The hardest nod? Yeah. The bald fraud himself, Eric Ten Hag, for finishing fourth with Man U. Oh, that's a that's a hard, horrendous take. That is a hard oh, task, Lord. monumental task. No, y- oh, bro, y'all are stacked. God. Y'all just been dude, underperforming. Mon- it, it has to be, it, dude. It's it's got to be Pep Guardiola. No, it's, again, it's, it's Eddie Howe. No, no, <laughs> it's Eddie yeah. Howe. When bro, if Ten Hag gets manager of the season for y'all getting fourth like that's embarrassing we might as well just like we might why, as well no, stop why would it be eddie Howe? because newcastle were dog shit and he's made them a title contending team okay was now, that him alone or is that third? i mean of course it Tenth, wasn't him alone like like look it's never just here's, the here's, manager look i i get that and that's that's a decent point i would say yeah he's he's probably very up there i agree um i'd give him Top four, top four managers for sure. Um, maybe even second, depending on how Arsenal finish. But uh, I don't know, dude. I I think that Pep Guardiola's got a uh, got a clear case here. It's a total system switch again, and I understand he has a lot of money, but it's completely switching up the style of play and overcoming a crazy point deficit again. Okay, but I, but, I, I but, think, but who, I think but that's who was managing the team? When they had that crazy point deficit, was it not Pep Guardiola, or did he come in mid season? Yes. Okay. But then he overcame. So that. then you don't. You... If 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 we do win, if we do win, if we don't win, then then he doesn't have a so case. So hold on, hold like on. not even a shadow. You have the most Look, stacked if he does, team if he of all win. time, and he gets manager of the season over a guy who was struggling at Bournemouth, comes into a dog shit Newcastle team, and gets them third. You're saying Pep Guardiola. Adding Holland to the most stacked team ever and winning the league is more impressive than Eddie Howe transforming the most embarrassing team in the Prem last season. That's you're, you're being incredibly you you're, you are being incredibly reductive right That's now. Crazy. You're being incredibly reductive right now, and no. you can keep talking like that. That That's doesn't crazy. change the fact that it's a complete system overhaul. He matter. shuffled his center backs back and forth. He's used like four or five different lineups. Tactically, oh, he outclasses who? Eddie Howe in every sense of the word, and I think what he did, what he would do, to man should Man season. City win, should Man City win. Merits a, a manager of the season. Yes, I do think. It, You're being incredibly reductive no. by saying that he's completely responsible and liable for all of Man City's woes. He's also completely uh, deserving of any credit for uh, the points comeback. I never said he wasn't. Should he win? I never said he wasn't. Okay. But to say that they had a comeback well, is well, like a big that. bullet point. Y'all were sucking because of him. Yeah, he turned it around. Great. But like, let's not just ignore the bad stuff that was going on. Like I'm, I'm, you don't get extra brownie points for that. Is what I'm saying. Also, right, well, if Newcastle finished, if Newcastle finishes third, okay, let's let's give him all the brownie points for that. Like, oh yeah, fucking Eddie Howe, god tier <laughs> manager because he got a team to third. Another 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 fucking foreign entity owned team, might I add, in their first season. In their first season, congratulations! The Golden Knights won it too. The same, their first the same season. NHL. And also, you're conflating an argument, which is you're making it seem like I'm saying Eddie Howe is a better manager than Pep Guardiola. It's who is manager of the year. For I me, know. Manager of the Eddie season. Howe. I'm totally, totally fair. You're allowed and you're entitled to that opinion. I think that what Pep Guardiola would do were he to overcome this oh, final five points and uh, uh, help them finish out. Oh, would, oh, oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Did I come back? Yeah, yeah you came back. Yeah. To start that entire thing over, because I, I don't remember what the last thing you said. Okay. Was. 
I you, you are totally allowed to think that um you know whatever Eddie Howe did merits him the manager of the season. I think that whatever achievements he can possibly finish out with Newcastle um are are not nearly as impressive as uh what Pep Guardiola would do were he to win the Premier League with Manchester City again. I I I just think that overcoming whatever flaws they had in the beginning of the year and yes, Holland was really good, but I mean, we were still we were still losing. We're still behind Arsenal. I think uh, if if uh, I I just don't see any way that Newcastle win this because if Arsenal wins it, it should be Mikel Arteta. Agreed, right? Agreed. Agreed. Okay. I think if Man City does it and overcomes this tremendous form that Arsenal had early in the season. And squeezes these last five points, squeezes by. I think that that comeback is uh, worthy of. For me, of for me, for for Pep to get manager of the season, he would have to win the treble. Okay, help me but, out but here. Does that apply the, the to the voting? Season. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 what I was considering because I was like, well, yeah, if he wins, I I think that would be like world manager of the year or something. Yeah, like that, that'd right? probably be yeah something like that. So let's think about it this way. Or I'm going to think about it this way. My expectations for Man City going into this season were to be two or one. So for them to win the league, like, doesn't shatter my expectations whatsoever. Not at all. So it's so it's hard for so me. Is, is that what the award is about? Shattering expectations then? For, for me Or is it about who is the best manager in the Prem? For me personally. Who is the best manager in the Prem for this calendar year? Yes. I th- and who gave the best performance? I think exceeding expectations or meeting them or falling short has to be one of the criteria. On top of literal performance, meaning where did you finish? I think there are multiple factors. Okay. 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 I can understand and I can appreciate that. What I find impressive is that through whatever faults Manchester City had, they were a lot lower on the table than anybody had expected them to be in spite of Holland's excellent performances, which indicates that Holland's not the issue, right? Obviously, nobody can argue that, that he's the issue there. It is a tactical issue, right? If you're letting in more goals than Holland is scoring and losing games or drawing games even, that is that is a poor performance, right? You You cannot win the league like that. I think that Pep Guardiola switching that around and creating a more efficient system and basically effectively overhauling whatever game plan they had uh, preseason and beginning of the year and managing on the fly, shifting the entire tactical outlook Mm -hmm. of Manchester City from not a... uh, I mean, we haven't been a striker-based club since Sergio Aguero's second to last year, Yeah, I would argue. Yeah, yeah. So, which which I would agree that I think to an earlier point of yours, one of the only managers in the Prem, I guess if we're keeping it to the Prem, that could overhaul, in your words, Man City in 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 that regard is Pep. You know, and he he did it well and look at the gap that uh he has now overcome, you know, because mm-hmm. of that overhaul. I once again go back to my expectations where I expect Pep to be the one to be fucking playing FM manager in real life out there. Yes. Just like coming up with crazy yeah. stuff, going out there with like a three, 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 one formation, you know, and like crazy stuff where yeah. like players are just like, you know, he's telling John stones, like, yo, you can play striker for like five minutes. If these specific things, these four specific things happen during the game. John, John, John Stones, Stones like has played just about every fucking position on the field this year, which is shocking because I I personally thought that man was finished. When I see him at CDM, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I, I mean, it's well, just, everybody will a, tell you he's a, the best uh, English defender right now. Some people want him to win Defender of the Season. Oh man, I don't I don't know. I think it's he's better been... than your boy Lewis Dunk. Nobody's better than Big Dunk. Big D, <laughs> Big D. Um, yeah, I think I'd probably give it to. Uh, I was gonna say Diaz, but I don't know how many games he's missed. But he's been he's been yeah. really good this season. Here's a. I'll wrap it up with how, and then we should move on to something else. The man has 
Shane Longstaff in his starting 11. He's got Fabian Schar, who looked like dog doo-doo for the previous year. Joe Linton looked like one of the worst signings of the past five years. I forgot how much they paid. For You're him. correct. Yes. Yes. And Jacob and, Murphy. And, and, and to that point, yes. Callum yes. Wilson. These are not very – Joe Willock, Arsenal reject. Like, these are not very good players. And he has elevated almost every single one. Actually, yes, he has elevated every single player. Every single one. Yes. yes. And I, I completely agree with that. I completely agree. I, for the record, I do not think that Eddie Howe is a bad manager. To do what he has done is phenomenal. I think it makes the league more interesting. And I think the Prem and world football is better for him being at Newcastle. Right? It is a tremendous achievement. I think I've uh, stated how impressed I was with them earlier in the season. It's just a different brand of football that we've been used to. Yes, I don't think they were objectively bad players before. I just think whatever the system was, whatever culture the club had perpetuated was not good. And yes, for him to switch that around, tremendous. I just think that the avant-garde style of fucking Manchester City is kind of blowing my mind right now. And we're so used to seeing it from them. It's it's like... Uh, uh, the one the one thing the Bleacher Report uh, used to do that I used to really like was like uh, making like Game of Thrones mm -hmm. uh, like kingdoms and races into like uh, Premier League clubs or making Premier League clubs and associating them with like different houses in Game of Thrones. And Manchester City was always the White Walkers. And it's it's correct. Like they're mathematically just consistent and scary. And, you know, they're like the tortoise versus the hare. They're just consistent and they'll strangle you until they make some like crazy play, like reviving the giant ice dragon in the second to last season. Right. I.e. Gundogan's two goals and an assist against uh, Aston Villa at the end of last season to win the Prem. Like it's it's kind of insane how they do that. And I get that it gets boring. I just am really worried that people are going to discount what they're doing this year because of performances in previous seasons. It's like it's like how LeBron James hasn't won a lot of uh, MVPs. Yeah. I get it's a regular season trophy. I get that he relaxes, especially now that he's older. But like when Russell Westbrook won, you know, he averaged a triple-double, everybody fucking shit themselves over that. Yeah. And I was looking at LeBron's stats like, you don't pick Russell Westbrook over LeBron this season. You don't. You ask any fucking coach in the league, they're taking LeBron. Yeah. So, yes, it, I think storylines go into it heavily. And I just feel like Manchester City's storyline is being underplayed. Um, that being said, Newcastle completely deserves, you know, their storyline. And Eddie Howe deserves that totally. Uh but yeah, I I don't know. I think it I think it might end up being Mikel Arteta. If they win, if they win, him. yes. If they get second, yeah. I don't think it should be him. Mm -hmm. I think he, I think he falls to at best third in the ranking if Arsenal finish anywhere outside of first. Because then you got to think yeah. like I throw Deserbi in there. I'd throw Unai yeah. Emery in there. Deserbi does deserve. Uh, yep. Ten Hag would I throw in there? No, honestly, I wouldn't. Um, you are a hater.